The Path Creation tool lets you define an initial style that'll be used to draw paths. But keep in mind that the path and style are two different elements that use each other. When we draw a path in the viewer, we automatically create a path group that contains a path and a style. But it's entirely possible to hide or even delete the stroke style. The path still exists, it's just not currently drawn. It's really important to distinguish these two elements. Going back to the Shape tool and selecting the path allows us to edit it again. Selecting a path group will let us define a creation context. Then we can add a new path inside of it. In the previous video, we showed you how paths can interact with each other. Let's select Path 2 and delete it. Instead of selecting the path group, let's select the Shapes Generator in the timeline. Now that we've changed the creation context, drawing a new curve will create a new path group and stroke style. Let's delete the stroke style so we can better see that now we have two path groups that each contain an independent path. There's no limit to the number of path groups that a shape generator can contain, and they can also nest within each other. The plus button lets us add a new empty path group that we can name My Group. Now we can reorder these elements to place My Group at the top of the stack. Then we can click and drag Path Group 1 to place it inside My Group. So we can organize these different paths into subgroups and use these path groups to perform Boolean operations between these elements. In this video, we went over how to add paths to existing path groups, create a path in a new path group, and nest path groups within each other.